What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I'm super excited for today's video. This video is going to be about the luxury handbags that I am selling and why. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate whether it's with luxury handbags or pretty much anything else in your wardrobe. Sometimes we buy things and they just don't work out and we learn from that. Or sometimes we buy things, we love them, but then our style evolves over time and we just don't feel, you know, that we're reaching for that item anymore. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to go through the luxury handbags that I have up for sale and tell you guys why. What did I learn from that experience? Why am I getting rid of that item? And not only is this going to be a fun and chatty handbag video, but also all of these items are up for sale. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these, hang tight till the end of the video and I will be sharing more details if you are interested. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you are new here, consider subscribing to my channel. Welcome. My name is Sophia and I'm a complete luxury addict. I upload new videos every single week about luxury, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that is up your alley, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button to join our fam. And without further ado, friends, let's get into the handbags that I'm sadly parting ways with. Bag number one, the YSL Kate tassel bag. I believe this is in the medium size. It's in the croc emboss leather with the silver hardware. And this one hurts me so much, friends, because it's such a beautiful bag. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this bag. I love the croc embossment, which actually is a pretty big trend for this year. I like the size. It's very versatile. You can wear it as a shoulder bag, as a crossbody. You can fit everything that you need in it. I also like the silver hardware because I feel like it gives a little bit of that like Saint Laurent type of edge. And so you're probably asking friends, if this bag is so great, Sophia, why are you getting rid of it? Well, my collection has grown over the years and this bag, this used to be my go-to if I wanted a classic basic black bag that matched with everything that specifically had silver hardware. I don't have as many bags that have silver hardware and it kind of has this like edge to it. And that's what I would reach for this bag. And you know what, friends? I think that this has been replaced by the Prada 2005 re-edition bag. If you all miss it, I did film a video last week where I talked about what would be the top 10 luxury items I would repurchase first if I lost my entire collection. And in that video I shared with you all, a lot of the bags that I get the most use out of, and one of them was that Prada 2005 re-edition bag. And I think that I just reach for that one a little bit more. It's slightly more casual. It's slightly more functional because I can kind of adjust it in a lot more ways. I can carry it top handle with just the little chain strap that it comes with. And it really does go with the same outfits where I would typically wear this. I also have my Chanel mini flap in the black with the silver hardware. So you guys see what I'm talking about here? This bag starts to become a little bit redundant. I never really carry this as a clutch. And I think also for me, I'm not as big of a fan of these very stiff flap bags. This one isn't too bad, but for example, I did used to have the Chanel Le Boy bag in the medium size, and I sold that a couple of years ago because it just felt a little bit too cumbersome for me. I also think with this bag, I'm not a huge fan of these chain straps. Even now that I'm filming this right now, this is just like a little bit too loud for me. And once again, I felt the same way about the Chanel Le Boy bag. I really like the tassel, but this is also kind of something that you have to be okay with. It does sort of flop around. It's a bit of a noisy bag. Thankfully, it's very indestructible. So none of these hardware elements really scratch the bag. And so, yeah, friends, that's why I'm getting rid of this. I don't need all these redundancies in my collection. There are some other classic bags that I kind of have my eye on that I just know are going to suit my lifestyle and my taste a little bit more. This is still a really hot bag. It's still very classic. I still love it. But I figured, especially since it's in such good condition, better sell it and make a little bit more room in my handbag collection. I don't want to be a black handbag hoarder. Bag number two, the small Valentino rock stud bag. Similar to the last bag, this one also kills me because I wore this to death. It's such a good bag. It's so functional. I like the fact that you get a little top handle here. You can kind of wear it like this, like a cool and little edgy clutch, for example. It's a small bag, but it still fits a lot. It comes with a beautiful chain strap, which I just have tucked in here for the moment. So you can wear it so many different ways. And like the YSL, you know, I've worn this so much and there's basically zero wear on this bag. It is indestructible. But the fact of the matter is, friends, is that 
just like the YSL bag, I just don't reach for this one as much anymore. And I think it's just because of my lifestyle. I bought this bag in my 20s when I was going out a little bit more. I needed something that was gonna be very indestructible if I went out to a bar, if I went out dancing, for example. I needed something that was compact that I could wear in many different ways. And I just don't have that same lifestyle anymore. I think nowadays, I prefer bags that are a little bit more ladylike, maybe a little bit less edgy. I do have some edgy bags. You know, I've got a lot of Louis Vuitton bags. I have the Prada Re-Edition one that I mentioned. But in general, I don't need to carry these like little black indestructible bags quite as much. I can carry my Lady Dior. I can carry my little Chanel flaps. I can carry my Louis Vuitton capucine bag. I don't need to worry about them getting like dirty at a bar because most of the time I'm just kind of out and about with my boyfriend going out to dinner. I have a little bit more of a casual lifestyle. And for that reason, I just don't find myself reaching for this bag all that much. And also, like I said, I don't want to be a bag hoarder. I don't need a million black bags. And there are some other ones like the Dior 30 Montaigne, for example, that I've had my eye on for a very long time. And I kind of really like that classic Parisian vibe right now. And so while I still love this, and it honestly, even now looking at it, I'm like, oh, do I want to sell you? I think that I do need to part ways for it. It's such a beautiful bag. I actually bought this one in Paris as well at the Galleries de Lafayette. And I had such an amazing experience buying this bag. So so it also has a lot of memories tied to it but you know what it's time to go i think in general this just doesn't really suit my day-to-day -day activities and outfits as much as it used to next bag is the chloe mini crossbody bag this is such a cute bag i feel like i'm gonna start every single bag off with that this is such a cute bag because honestly friends i like all of these bags it's just a lot of them i don't get a lot of wear out of i honestly forget that i have this bag all the time and every time i see it in my collection whenever i'm kind of like reorganizing my bags i see it and i'm like why don't i wear this bag as much and so you know what i figured that means it's time to let it go i think the reason that i don't pick this bag up quite so much it's not because it's not functional or it's not cute not at all you can fit so many things in this but i think the reason is because this is a very casual and kind of bohemian looking bag and i think a lot of you guys know I don't have a very bo I don't have a very bohemian style. My style can be either sort of like classic European or it's kind of a little bit edgy, maybe kind of street style sort of look. So I'm either going for a more sporty bag or I'm going for a more elegant bag. I just don't have those bohemian vibes to really pull this bag off. I really like the color. It is a very beautiful soft gray that goes with so many different things. And I have been looking to add a gray bag in my collection, maybe like the Lady Dior D-Joy, for example. That's the kind of gray that I want. This is just like a little bit too casual for me. And honestly, like I, I've really only worn it a couple times. There's zero color transfer. There's no scratches on this bag. I just don't think that I can pull this off. I see people wearing this all the time. I actually have one of my best friends has this bag in another color and I always think it looks so cute on her. But for whatever reason, I just don't wear it enough. So I figured, you know what? It needs a better home. Oh, this one is also so, so tough. This is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. This is one of those very classic bags from Gucci that they actually don't really produce anymore. I think you can only buy it in this color and the black, but they don't get rid of it because so many people like it because it's such a classic, easy, and functional bag. Why am I getting rid of this? I'm getting rid of this because I have the same bag in black, and I actually have worn that one more. It's a little bit more lived in. I think I would have a harder time selling it, whereas this one, it's in pretty much like a new condition. There's like a little bit of creasing here because this is where the bag hits your body, so that's naturally gonna happen anyway. I really don't think that I need several bags in like multiple colors at this point, and I always just reach for the black one over this one. The other thing as well, one of the reasons why I use the black one more is because I like to wear these colors more so in the summer, but I already have my Fendi baguette in the same exact color, and I already have my new Chanel mini top handle in almost exactly the same color. And then I have another like one or two bags that are in this color or are in white, which is also great for sort of this time of year. At the end of the day, I just don't end up grabbing this bag quite as much. And it's in such fantastic condition that I figured, you know what? 
Better to give this one another home than having all of these redundancies in my handbag cabinet. That's probably a good segue into this adorable little Yuseppi bag. If you have never heard of the Yuseppi brand, I believe they are out of the UK. They make some really cute bags. On average, I think their bags are like a couple hundred dollars. They have a lot of good like under $1,000 types of bags, or at least they did when I was shopping from them. They don't make this style anymore, if I'm not mistaken, but it was really popular at the time. It looks like an adorable little lilac present. And the main reason that I'm getting rid of this bag, friends, is just like with the other bag, the Gucci Soho that I showed you, I have this bag in a second color and I actually use this brown one all the time, which is also kind of the reason why I don't use the Gucci Soho Disco. It's just, I don't really find myself reaching for the lilac one. And it's not because it doesn't match with anything and it's not because it's not cute. I just, I don't know what it is, friends. I like to reach for this one a little bit more. I love this rich caramel color with the gold tone hardware. This one has probably only been worn like once or twice over the course of a couple of years. So I need to stop doing this, friends. I really need to like buy a bag, wear it for a long time, and then decide to get it in a different color because I basically bought these bags at very similar times. At the time, this lilac color was like the color of the year and I just had to have it. And you know what? I should have just left it and really gotten the use out of the brown one. Thankfully though, this color is really in again this year kind of like the pinks and the lilacs so if you're interested this bag is now up for sale the next bag i'm selling is the mini telfar shopper tote this is the kind of bag where you don't really buy it for its functionality you buy it for the vibes okay you buy it for that cool street style kind of look it's not that expensive of a bag i think these go for about $200 or so. And because I was buying it for the cool street style vibes, I really wanted to get this in a bright but also wearable color. So I picked up this beautiful blue painter's tape, but when I opened it up, I felt like it wasn't as bright and as neon as I wanted it to be to kind of go with the outfits that I had in mind for this bag. It's a little bit more of like a primary slash cerulean type of blue. And I wanted it to be more of like a neon blue. So actually, once I had the opportunity to purchase another Telfar bag, because sometimes they can be a little bit hard to get in specific colors, I did purchase the bright neon green color, which I really, really like. And that's what I wear for like Celtics games and those types of things. So that has become my official like basketball Celtics bag. And that is the one that I reach for a lot more. I also picked up the Telfar and Ugg collaboration bag as well, like the little fluffy shearling one, which I absolutely love. So I thought to myself, once again, like I do not need three Telfar mini shopper totes. It's not the kind of bag that I need multiples of. I really just need one for that one purpose. I can see justifying buying this in maybe like another size, like the larger tote, if I wanted more of like a functional day-to-day -day work bag or something. But I like the mini size best in these Telfar shopper totes. And so I figured, you know what, these are kind of hard to get. So if there's somebody out there that really wants the painter's tape color, I got it here for you. This is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing bags in my collection. And you know what, friends? I've legit never worn it. It is the Monsor Gavriel Lady Bag. I think this is like the larger size, I think they call it. In the beautiful, buttery, yummy calf leather in the blush color. I love everything about the leather. I love everything about the color of this bag. The only thing that I don't like about this bag is just the size. When I bought this, these bags were so, so hot. I needed to have one. I looked at so many Instagram photos of this bag being styled. I was like, yes, those are the vibes that I want. And I really do like the sort of elegant, quiet, luxury vibes of this bag, but it's just too big. I am 5'4", and I feel like when I'm wearing something crossbody, because that's what this bag is. It's mostly a crossbody bag, as you can see right here. You can hold it like this, but I feel like it was designed more so to be crossbody. It's just like a little bit bigger than I typically go for. Probably the biggest that I go for is the Celine Classic box bag in the medium. And that one is more about yay size, if you can kind of see me just 
to see me gesturing right here. It's a little bit smaller than this. It's just a little bit too big for me. I think this is perfect for somebody who likes to carry a little bit extra. Maybe you're a mom. Maybe you got an iPad in here. Maybe you have a notebook or like an agenda in here. I think this would make a really good work bag for a lot of people. But for me, I usually use a backpack for my work bag because I just have way too much to carry and my shoulder starts to hurt after a while. So instead what I did is last summer, I actually purchased the same bag, the lady bag, but in the little mini size. I'll put a photo up here so you can see which one I'm talking about. And in like a bright, fun summer color, I think that this color was called mango. I picked this one up instead and I wear it a lot more. I think when I purchased this lady bag, they didn't have any smaller sizes. It was like, you either get this or you don't get any because the brand was still a little bit new when I purchased it. Yeah, like a lot of these other bags, it literally looks brand new. There's like not a scratch in sight. There's no corner wear. It still looks absolutely pristine. I have a dust bag. So you know what? I'm like, ugh, it kills me because every single year I'm like, no, I'm gonna wear it more, but I don't. It's just like a little bit too big for my taste. We're almost done friends. The next two bags that I'm selling are actually from the same brand, which is Burberry. And they actually have a very similar story as to why I am selling them. The first one is this cute little TB belt bag. Now from the front, it does look like it's just a regular old black leather clutch, but when you turn it around, it actually has these two little loops here that you can use to thread onto the belt of your pants. If you have a beautiful like wrap coat and you kind of want to cinch it together, you can use it for that as well. You could pop it on over a blazer and it actually does come with its own belt as well. So you can use an existing belt in your collection, the one that it comes with. You can actually even thread through a chain strap right here, maybe from another bag or from like Amazon or Etsy, and you can turn it into a little cross body or something like that as well. It's a very versatile, cute little bag. And so I actually bought this at the height of the belt bag trend. I still feel like it's going pretty strong. I see belt bags everywhere or bun bags, fanny packs, whatever you guys want to call it. There's a million different names for these types of bags. I do see them everywhere, but I got this at the beginning of the trend when it first launched and I didn't want to spend too, too much on a belt bag. I kind of wanted to try out the trend, but in a more elegant luxury way. Sure. I had one or two from maybe like Amazon that I was trying out, but I wanted, you know, I wanted to partake in the luxury belt bag trend. So this kind of served that purpose. Since then, however, I have kind of leveled up to other ones that I wear a little bit more in my collection. I do have the Loewe belt bag. It's a part of the men's collection. And I feel like because that one, it's a little bit more casual. I tend to wear that one more day to day. It's better for just kind of slinging across my chest. If I'm going for a walk, if I'm going grocery shopping, I wear it all the time on airplanes when I travel because it's just so handy to have right there. And also nobody says anything if you have an extra personal item, if you're wearing a bum bag, just a little tip for you there, friends. Furthermore, I also picked up the Louis Vuitton Petite Bot Chapeau, which as you guys know, is equally kind of as cute and fancy as this one. It matches with a lot of things. It's a little bit smaller, so it's not quite as practical as this one from Burberry. But nonetheless, I do not need a million belt bags in my collection. I feel like I don't reach for this one as much. So if you're someone who doesn't have a belt bag or you don't have a lot of luxury bags, I do think that this is a cute little more affordable option where you can, you know, wear it in a lot of different ways. It's very convertible. But for me, it's just once again, like too much redundancy. And I felt like I sort of graduated to the other luxury belt bag items that I was looking to buy in the first place. But this was a really good way to kind of like try out that trend. Now I did tell you that I have two Burberry bags that I'm selling. And the second one that I am selling is this classic Burberry backpack. And this one has a really cool sort of graffiti like print of that classic Burberry check. So it has like a little something going on. It's definitely different. I also have a scarf that matches this. I was really, really into this print. And one of the reasons why I purchased this is because 
Once again, just like the belt bag trend, I really wanted to participate in the mini backpack trend. I was really into the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpacks, the mini backpacks. And so at the time I wanted to sort of participate in that trend, but Burberry, a lot of their bags, they do sell them at a lower price point, which is really nice. So that's why I picked this one up. But you know what, friends? I think what I've realized is that I just don't really reach for this one all that much because I did eventually get the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini bag backpack, which I also featured in that video of, you know, which bags would I purchase first if I were to lose my entire luxury collection. I use that bag so, so much. And the thing about that as well is that that bag, it's more like a purse. It's not so much like a backpack. It's much smaller. It's probably only about this amount of this current backpack. And as I've explained earlier in this video, a lot of times, like I just don't really carry bags that are this big. I'm either gonna go for like a small to medium handbag, or I'm gonna go up to a full size backpack if I actually have, you know, a laptop or something more substantial to carry. But I know there are a lot of people out there where they like bigger bags like this. You know, maybe you're a mom and you have to carry around a lot of stuff for your kids. Maybe you have an iPad, agenda, notebook, like I was saying before. Maybe you wanna pack your lunch up in this. This could be a really great, like functional work bag for you. Maybe you take the train a lot, so you have to pack a lot of things with you. It is a really cute bag. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And it's pretty much like a lot of the bags I've been talking about today in like new condition. But because I already have my Palm Springs Mini, and then I also have a large, like regular backpack size backpack from Louis Vuitton, it just means that this becomes a little bit unnecessary. So that's kind of what I've learned there, friends, is like these more larger kind of mid-size bags like this, it really depends on the style. It really has to be something that I would carry as like an oversized purse if it's something that I'm really gonna pick up. All right, friends, those are all the handbags that I'm featuring in this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And in fact, make sure you are subscribed and also following me on Instagram because I also have some more affordable contemporary style bags that I will be selling on my social media channels. If you are interested in any of the bags that I featured in this video, all of the bags, the prices, and information on how to purchase them, how to get in touch with me, are gonna be in the description box down below. It is going to be first come, first serve. I'm going to be accepting payment directly through PayPal so that I can offer you guys the most competitive prices possible. I will also be opening this up to US and international subscribers as well. So all that's going to be in the description box down below. You guys know you can always get in touch with me on Instagram via my DMs, and I'm happy to send you guys more photos of the bags if necessary. And yeah, I think that's it. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.